Welcome to Agile and AddonsModules.com. Agile and AddonsModules.com are developers of a wide range of modules and add-ons for the PrestaShop shopping cart system. This tutorial will show the store administrator the process for sellers to register or add products to the store in the Agile Multiple Seller Module. This can be done through the seller's account page in the front office or in the back office of the store. We will also show you how, as a store admin, you can add products for a seller in the back office. This video is part one of this tutorial be sure to also see part two. As usual, we will assume for the purposes of this tutorial that you have installed and configured the Agile Multiple Seller Module, that you have allowed customers to be sellers in your store, that you are using the default theme for PrestaShop 1.5, and that you have already set up categories for products in the store. We will be using a seller named Test Seller for this tutorial which has already been registered for both a customer account and a seller account and their seller account has been approved. See our video tutorial on seller registration if you have not completed this process. First, from a seller's perspective. We begin this tutorial on the home page or front office of your store with the test seller already logged in. To get to the customer account screen, click on the customer name in the top right corner of the screen, then click the My Seller Account option to access the seller account page. There are two ways a seller can register products within the store, either through the Products tab on this screen or by going to the back office by clicking this option. We will start here on the Products tab. Clicking the Products tab brings the seller to their Products page. You can see this seller currently has no products registered in the store. To add our first product, click the Add New button. Here you will be able to enter all basic information necessary to add a product. There are eight steps available for registering a product this screen shows step one, information. The first field allows you to give the product a name that will be displayed in the store. The second field allows you to associate the product with a particular category within the store. The wholesale price field allows you to enter the amount you paid for the product or what it costs to produce. The retail price is the price you will be listing in the store as the cost of the item. Quantity, of course, is the number of this item you have in stock or on hand. The When Out of Stock Radio button option allows you to specify what will happen in the storefront when this product is out of stock. The system can deny orders, allow orders, or act as defined in the store preferences. The additional shipping field allows you to enter a dollar amount for additional shipping that may be required for this product beyond the standard carrier shipping prices. The reference field is for any internal code or SKU that you might use for this product. The EAN 13 or JAN field is for product barcodes primarily used in Europe and Japan. UPC is used primarily for the United States and Canada. The condition drop-down allows you to choose whether the product is new, used, or refurbished. The supplier drop-down allows you to choose from a list of suppliers for this product from the list of suppliers currently entered in the store. The status option allows you to enable or disable the product listing within the store. 
If the product is disabled, it will not be visible anywhere in the store except in this product listing. Generally, you will want status enabled, but there may be times when you wish to temporarily suspend sales of this product. The visibility drop-down allows you to choose where the product can be seen in the store. In general, this option should be set to everywhere. The Options checkboxes allow you to specify whether the product is available for order, whether the price should be shown, and whether the product is an online-only product. And lastly, you can choose the manufacturer from a list of manufacturers currently listed in the store. In the Short Description Editor, you can enter a brief description of this product which will appear in product listings and at the top of the product page. In general, this description should be kept brief. The maximum length for this short description can be set elsewhere in the configuration options. The Description Editor is where you will enter all product detail and any additional images you may wish to add within the text. Note that adding standard product images comes a little later in the tutorial. The editor allows all basic text formatting functionality such as bold, italics, type size, color, bulleting, etc. Cursor over any of the buttons for function identification. This description will show on the product page. The final section is used for search engine optimization. Meta tags are search terms you may want to use for this product. Meta description is the description that will display if this product is found during a search. And meta title is the page title that will be displayed. The friendly URL is the name for this product that would be used at the end of your store URL for direct access to this product. But for this to function correctly, you must have friendly URLs enabled in your configuration. When you have completed all information on this page, click the Save button. You will be returned to the product page and notified that the update was successful. Next, from the Steps drop-down, choose Step 2, Images. Here you can browse your local hard drive for images to associate with this product. It is important to note here that for product images you will want the best quality image you can get with the smallest possible file size. Of course you always want to show your product in the best possible light by using high quality images, but you also want your pages to display quickly for customers. To attach an image to this product, click the Browse button. Locate the image on your hard drive that you want to attach to this product and click Open. Now click the Upload button and your image will be uploaded to the server and attached to this product. You should now see the image listed. If you want to add additional images to this product, simply repeat the process. Adding images and the remaining five steps features, associations, prices, quantity, combinations, and virtual products are all covered in the PrestaShop documentation and the final five steps will not be covered in this tutorial. However, we will give you a brief description of each of the functions of each step. Step 2, Images, as just shown, allows you to add one or more product images to your product listing. Step 3, Features, as the name implies, allows you to designate features for this particular product, such as height, width, depth, weight, color, size, or any other feature specific to this product. Step 4, Associations, allows you to select one or more categories that this product will be associated with or listed under, as well as setting the default category. Here you can also designate any accessory products for this item. For example, a set of headphones may be an accessory for a stereo system. Step 5, Prices, allows you to set the pre-tax wholesale price and the pre-tax retail price, 
which are the same price fields found on the information screen in Step 1. And also the tax rule, unit price, and to specify whether the product is currently on sale. You can also set specific prices and discounts on this page. Step 6, Quantity, allows you to specify the quantity you currently have on hand, what to do when the product is out of stock, the minimum quantity that can be purchased in a transaction, the text displayed when the product is in stock or out of stock, and the date this product will be available if it is out of stock. Step 7, Combinations, allows you to designate various attributes and possible configurations for this item, such as color, size, capacity, or any other attribute, and also set the prices or price difference for each possible combination. Step 8, Virtual Product, allows you to specify that this item is a virtual or downloadable product, as opposed to a physical product that requires shipping or pickup. To return to your product list, click on the Back to Product List option. If the store administrator has designated that products must be approved before being listed, this product cannot be viewed in the store until the admin approves this product in the back office. Otherwise, this product would be live in the store now. This concludes part one of this tutorial, adding products from the front office. Part two will cover the process of the seller adding products from their back office, as well as the store admin adding products for sellers. See you in the next video. And thanks for choosing Agile and AddonsModules.com.